Welcome to Stage Right. This is a quick start guide to help you get started, but there are detailed video tutorials and a user manual on our website that can show you everything you need to know about Stage Right. But let's get started by going to stagerightsoftware.com and tapping Login. That will take you to the web app login page where you can enter your username and password to open your account. That will take you to the home page, and here on the left side is the list of productions in your account. And if you tap on your username at the top right corner here, you can see your account details, change your password or billing info, or make changes to your subscription. StageRight comes with several templates to help you get started. To open any production, just click on that production icon. Now here on the left, I'm opening scene one of one of those templates, which shows the thumbnails of the spacing chart in that scene. On this chart, you can see a couple of actor icons already on stage, and you can move them around into a new position. Then tap Next Chart to add another spacing chart where you can move the actors to their next positions. Performers live in their own layer on the chart, and the scenery lives on its own layer. Here, you can choose from a catalog of common furniture pieces to add to your stage. Here, I'll choose a bed and move it into a position. You can rotate the set piece by showing the edit bay here and using the rotation feature. To get back to the home page, just tap the back arrow in this upper left corner. Here you can create a brand new production of your own by tapping the plus symbol. Just give your new production a name and choose whether you want to use the staging score or if you prefer to use an imported PDF of your script. Then hit add. This will take you through the steps to create a new production. Here you can enter the production details. You can add a JPEG of your logo from your desktop and the rest of the details about the production. Next, you'll enter the dimensions of your space. Here, I'll put 40 feet wide, 35 feet deep, and 10 feet in the wings. Then tap Edit Permanent Stage, which shows you a grid of the dimensions you entered. Here, by using the drawing tools, you can add legs, curtains, anything structural that you want to show up on every chart in the production. You can use the copy and paste functions to show identical legs on each side. Now, if you have a ground plan of your set, you can also easily import it and place it to show up on every chart instead of drawing it yourself. You can also create performer icons on this tab where you can customize color, shape, and text for each performer in your show. The last thing you'll need to complete in order to start creating charts is at least one scene, which you can enter here, and hit Save. Then once you have these items set, hit the X to get started creating charts. Here on the left, you can see the scene list. If you tap on this first scene, you see there's no charts, but if you hit the plus symbol here, you can add a blank chart. And if you tap the performer tool, you'll open up the green room, select the actor who will show up center stage. You can also import your script by going to the script view and tap the import PDF icon and choose the file from your computer. Once it's imported, you can add light cues or sound cues. Just select the word you want to anchor it to, choose which side of the page you want it on, and type the cue number. On the home page, there's a help button that can tour you through each feature on that page and a video link to tutorials that explain each page. For iPad users, make sure you also get the free Stage Right Anywhere app and log into your account so you can take your work with you. Here's the iPad home page showing your productions. The difference is that on your iPad, you can work offline. Say if you're working somewhere where there's not a good Wi-Fi signal, just tap the cloud icon on the top left corner, select to work offline. When you're working offline, the cloud icon will show with a slash through it. In this mode, you can work and make changes on your iPad, and later when you have a signal, just change to working online. And then be sure to tap the sync button up here to send those changes to the cloud so your production is updated. Finally, for users of the original Legacy app, you can easily migrate your existing productions into the new app on your iPad. In the new app, just tap Migrate from Stage Right, give permission for the new app to speak to the Legacy app, and then a list of all your productions in the Legacy app will appear. Select those productions you want to migrate into the new system. You should probably just transfer all of them. And tap Import. And voila, your productions are now in the new app, and you can take advantage of all those features. You will need to sync your migrated productions to the web. You see here in this newly migrated production of Scottsboro Boys, it says it's never been synced. So if you tap the sync, it'll save it into the cloud, and you're all set and on your way. This was just a quick overview to get you started, but remember there are many detailed video tutorials and a user manual on the support page at stagerightsoftware.com.